Hey YouTube, this is Avido Duelist, and um, I'm going to show you guys a Crystal Beast deck. Um, I know it's been a while, I've been really, really, really busy with, um, since summer's coming up, it's the last, um, last quarter of school, so that's been pretty busy, um, they've been packing us up with homework and everything, plus I'm busy with my, um, getting a summer job which I probably will have so yeah I've been busy with summer jobs school um, and then sports and other things like um, finals are coming up so just teachers are packing everything up so pretty much um, I'm back in case you guys thought I wasn't making videos anymore and you guys are probably wondering why I'm showing you guys a Crystal Beast deck. Um, personally, me, I'm getting sick of like meta decks out there on YouTube. Everybody's just showing the same deck, Blackwing, GB. And I'm kind of getting sick of it, and I want to be kind of unique and have fun with the meta right now instead of playing the top tier meta decks. Don't get me wrong, I'm still playing GBs. But, um... Right now, I want to just try Crystal Beast out just for fun at locals, but for regionals, I'll save GBs for that. So, I'm trying to make this deck competitive, or like as competitive as can be, and still have fun with it. So, um, you'll see some odd cards in here that you're like, what, why is he running that? Um, I don't know, I just want to have fun with the deck, but also someone make it competitive and, you know, just mess around with... Um, Duelists that think like why are you running that and then it turns to work out so um I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a deck. It isn't complete. I need your help. So um, In the under bar down bar whatever you call it since YouTube changed it um They'll be my wants for specifically this deck and just hit me a PM if you have them and I'll just I'll probably make an updated binder soon, but I'll also like tell you what cards I have or something so yeah, um, and also I'm looking for specific rarities because I want to hollow out this deck. So I'm going to run through the deck, briefly explain it, not a lot because that will take too much time. So first we have um, three Pegasus. It's pretty much like the engine of the deck. It gets the deck going. Plus he's 18 beater, which is pretty nice. And then two Ruby Carbuncle. So as you can tell, they're all shiny, and I really want this deck hollowed out because I really, I really like Crystal Beast the way they run. So, um, two Carbuncle, just um, easy swarm. Two Topaz Tiger. I might run a third one because he, when he attacks into an opponent, opponent's monster, he becomes a two thousand beater. So I might get, I might put one more just because he's a high beat stick. Um, and if you have him, I need him ulti. I have him rare right now, but I need him ulti. Um, two Methodist Cat. Um, I really love this guy because you can stall with him and just um, go through their life points slowly, but it does help a lot. Um, two Amber Mammoth, protect your other GBs, plus he, or GBs, sorry, um, CBs, Crystal Beast. And um, he's a 17 beater and he just protects him, so he's pretty good too. Um, two Emerald Tortoise. I really like them because, one, they have, mainly just because they have 2,000 defense, but they're, all, they're also Crystal Beast, so they fit with the theme. But, um, usually, um, GBs or Black Wings, if they don't synchro, um, they run into Topat, or Emerald Tortoise, and just lose life points. I like the 2,000 defense. And then one Cobalt Eagle. I'm not a big fan of him. He's really slow sometimes he will help if your um, back row is clogged or your field is just clogged but usually I'm not a fan of him so I only run one so that's for the monsters um, now for the spells three ancient city rainbow ruins this gets the deck going it's an amazing field spell so um, yeah I'm not really gonna explain it, it has a really long effect Two Crystal Abundance, um, pretty much is like the OTK of the deck. It um, 
helps you get them down really, really fast. I might consider running a third one. I'm not sure because that might turn out to be a dead draw because I haven't been, been able to use it that often. But yeah, like, because the main concern about um, GBs or Crystal Beasts, sorry, I keep on saying GBs. Um, Crystal Beasts is that um, your spell and trap card zone gets clogged with monsters and then you can't, like, Either you set, if you set a, a trap and then like, you can't activate it for some reason, then um, you can't play Abundance because then you, you need to have four Crystal Beasts in your Spell and Trap card zone and then you need to um, activate it. So to me it's a pretty big cost, but with Pegasus you can, you can use it pretty often. Um, two Crystal Beacon, combos great with Carbuncle and um, Pegasus really. Mainly Ruby Carbuncle. And here are the proxies. I have one rare value, but here are the stupid proxies. It's not one for one in Rainbow Life. Don't run those. Three rare value. So if you have two rare value, um, hit me up a PM and um, I'll give you a list of some of my cards I have that are pretty good. I'm willing to trade a lot for two rare value because they're kind of hard to come by. But they're not that expensive. Next is two Crystal Blessing. Um, I'm not a big fan of this card because sometimes your Crystal Beasts don't really hit the grave. But if they do, it combos great with Beacon and um, Rare Value. So it's pretty good. But sometimes it can be a dead draw and just sit in your hand for a while. Um, two Crystal Promise. I am thinking about running a third one because it's essentially a free special summoning and it combos great with Ruby Carbuncle. And then, this is kind of shocking, two Messenger of Peace. Um, this combo is great with a Methodist Cat because um, the cost is only 100 life points per standby phase. And pretty much 15 and over can't attack, so most likely your Crystal Beasts are safe against like the meta decks. Except for like, um, one I can think of right now is Mystic Tomato. Because I had problems with that when I dueled my brother with this deck. But yeah, these pretty much combo great with the Methodist Cat because he, he he stays alive. And then a Methodist Cat has, what, 1,200 life points? Or 1,200 attack points. So you can pretty much just ram through and get them down slowly. Get the life points down slowly. So Plus it stalls for abundance and many other things. So yeah, I'm running Messenger Beast. And then one Lightning Vortex because I have a lo huge problem with running over big monsters. Really no way to it except for Abundance and that could be really, really hard. So Lightning Vortex is just an easy way out really. Plus if I discard a CB, I, I can just use um, Crystal Blessing. So now for traps, um, two Crystal Rideki. If you have another dual terminal, such as this right there. If you have, if you have another dual terminal, um, hit me up. Chris Raigeki also is a way out. It just destroys any uh, card your opponent controls. So back row, monster, whatever. And then three crystal pair. I love this card because it's essentially um, a Wabaku. Plus it gets your... Um, Spell and trap card zone filled with C CBs pretty quickly. Even if your CB has to die and then get another one um, from your deck to the spell and trap card zone, it still is good because you can always revive those from the grave using Crystal Blessing. So this really helps with abundance. And now you guys are going to be shocked by this, but I run one dimensional wall and one magic cylinder. Um, I love these two cards. Well, I, I haven't really tested out Dimensional Wall, but Magic Cylinder. I really, really love this card. It's uh, not really a common played card nowadays. It was back in way, way back. But now, I don't, I don't know why people don't run it, but um, I really, really like it. Like, um, I played it um, using GBs at Locals once, and I used it against a Stardust, and it was game. So, I mean... 
Magic Cylinder gets you games a lot, and I'm sure Dimension Wall does too, or Dimension Wall, but not as easy as Magic Cylinder. So I think that's pretty funny, a Magic Cylinder in the Stardust Dragon, 2,500 life points, that's like, that's more than a quarter of your life points gone already, so both of these cards are really, really good, in my opinion. Plus, I'm just trying to have fun with the deck, and I really like the cards, but still make it competitive at the same time. So, um, yeah. And then one Mirror Force. So, um, please you guys help me out with this deck. It has 39 cards. I do not know what to put. I'm assuming either a Topaz Tiger or a Crystal Promise because it's a free special summon or an Abundance. Um, but I also might consider running like either a Monarchs or in the deck or like Gravity Crush Dragon to get some, um, High beaters out there and everything, so, um, plus easy destruction kind of gets the deck, you know, kind of powerful. And also, um, remember, check the wants in the underbar. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering, wondering, why not Rainbow Dragon? Um, it has way, 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 way too big of a cost to summon, and a lot of times it is a dead draw. Even with Rainbow Gravity, that could be a dead draw too. So I just don't like it in the deck. It's not consistent enough. It's not like worth running. It has an amazing effect. Don't get me wrong. If you get it out, it's amazing. But um, like the cost to it, it's way too slow, and it, t it just takes forever to get out. You have to have the right hand. So um, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about this deck. I hope you guys enjoy, and stay tuned for more vids. See you guys.